All right, today I came across this really odd, bizarre uh, display of dead carcasses on the intersection of a, of a street, of two streets, and they're hung up on a fence. Some guy had them on, like, he had about tw 10, 10 or 12 of them um, on, a, on a fence corner, uh, just laying there, all in different states of uh, decomposition. So, uh, no mountain too high, no valley too low, bookmobile, and, uh, I seem to be in his way. What is the deal with this? Uh, but the, uh, the, the, um, animals, uh, I looked at the, uh, the controversy a little bit on the, the forums, um, what people have to say about that. And there, there's some things that, that make sense, some things that don't. Um, and, like, for one instance, I don't know what the guy's doing. Uh, but, uh, let's just... That guy right there is just sitting on I really won't be able to talk now. Um, the, the animals hung there uh, to, uh, like, deter other coyotes from from uh, uh, coming coming around they're they're considered a, a, a deterrent uh, for older farmers uh, but a lot of people were saying that they didn't really notice any difference between uh, hanging them or not hanging them some some people have tried hanging hanging the coyotes on the, like a trail that others might other others live ones might take but didn't really notice any any difference in uh, like the behavior of them? Um, some some people said that maybe the uh, the dead coyotes hanging on the the, um, the fence might uh, attract wolves, which which scare the uh, other coyotes away. I thought that was interesting. Um, uh, and then um, let's see, coyotes. Just, they just, they hang them there. They, they stink. Uh, they might detract uh, other, other animals in some way. Um, but I mean, coyotes aren't that smart anyway. I mean, they're, or even that, that put off by other, other dead coyotes. So it, it may really not be that much of a, uh, a distract, a detraction from, from other coyotes. It, it, they're maybe the farmers are using human psychology. Um, which, you know, is very different from coyote psychology. You know, humans, humans that hang dead, other dead humans out and, and, uh, as, as a deterrence, but it, it turns out that that's, that's kind of a bad idea because it's, it becomes more of a rallying point, um, for, for, uh, people who may have believed in, the like a particular cause, for uh, the person who died or something, and coyotes don't think like that. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, one guy made a like. He said it was like a little off topic, but I, I thought it was very interesting. He used a he would uh, hang a dead coyote over some water, and then uh, the magnets would fall into the water and attract big bluegill. And he would have an easier time fishing around that that spot, and then other people were talking about um, the, the hanging dead animals over water and letting the maggots fall into the water, or even submerging the dead animals a little bit into the water, and then uh, the fish learn to knock the maggots off of uh, the, the the carcass. Uh, but that's that's different from hanging your your dead animals on the fence. Um, it looks disturbing. It's it's uh, there's nothing illegal about it. I saw a video of controversy of some guy hanging a dead deer on the side of the road uh, by its neck and and as a way to deter people from speeding. Um, and there's really nothing illegal about that. It was just uh, disturbing to look at. And and one guy said he didn't even notice it or something. Um, so it's. It's it's can be kind of controversial. It's pretty rare. Uh, it'll it it's it's uh, it, it'll affect people, um, as, especially animal lovers, in, in a way in a negative way. So people may 
may not want to make this a big practice 